presenting Beagle Boys Rabbit Hunting Goes to Maine. On this episode of Beagle Boys Rabbit Hunting, I traveled to Maine with some friends on a two-day hare hunt. During my time here, we were able to take five hares in an adventure I will never forget. Come join me and my three dogs as we enjoy Maine's Great North Woods. On the first day, we traveled down one of the many logging roads until we found a good amount of hair tracks. There, we park the truck and take out the dogs. I'm gonna take the snow, the snow shoes, no? Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can go without them. I mean, I'm two pounds. Huh? I'm two pounds. I'm light. Mm. I'm light. After I collar them up, I call them over to the freshest tracks I see in the side of the road. Over here, over here. It doesn't take long before we over had over one here. up and running. In here, in here, in here, in there. In here, in here, in here. Louie, 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 Louie. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. In here, in here, in here. In there. As soon as I get into the woods, I know this isn't going to be easy since the snow is so deep. Even with snowshoes, it is difficult walking. Luckily, we found some snowmobile trails, which helped us gain access to the thick brush. The only problem was the amount of traffic on the trail. Hey.
Over the course of the morning, we have plenty of opportunities and end up missing 10 times. Oh, I, I see him is still going. Long shot. <laughs> Maybe I got him. I don't know. Ooh, I saw him running through there really quick, though. Hey. Right here. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> they like this, they can run down it. Yeah. You get him? Doubt it, I mean, you was in front of me. Yeah. It seemed every time the dogs brought the hare around, it was either too far or the snowmobiles were coming down the trail. Ultimately, it was because of the amount of traffic on the trails that we yeah. decided to change locations. Yeah. I got a big girl. I've never hunted rabbit with it. Oh, I, yeah? I so what do you do? The big girl gets the scent and you go out and push him back in the trail? Oh, yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. Thanks for stopping. Hey, burp. This time, we went for a more secluded spot. On the way out, we Hi. also get stopped by a law enforcement officer who was patrolling Maine's yep. many trails. I don't have it on my back. Yeah, let me hold that so oh, thank you. Do you have to have it on your back? No. Okay, yeah, yeah it's my... He checks our licenses, and away we go. Yeah, because I noticed that. I'm from New York, and we don't have it. We don't have to have it on our back in certain parts. I'm from the one that doesn't have to. At the next location, I just run Bo and Louie, since Barry was getting a bit tired. Apparently, running him a few days before this hunt caused him to tire fairly quickly in the deep snow. I saw one rabbit between us. Maybe that's the one they're running. I don't know. Maybe. It's got a huge lead on him. So do the dogs are on uh, their second hair of the day. Same story as the first one. It's just been real, real tough with this snow. Uh, dogs are running real good. Uh, they haven't lost it too much, but it's just slow going. Uh, they've barely even completed uh, just two, but two loops. So uh, it's just taking them forever to bring these hairs back to, around to us. Uh, but we're trying. Dogs are running awesome. Yet again, Bo and Louie do their thing, but we could not get a shot off. Get ready, George! He's coming your way! <sighs> Just saw the rabbit come through. There's the track. Could be a stray, though. Right there. And although they run great, right till dark, we did the unthinkable came out of the woods empty-handed in Maine. So, after a full day of uh, hunting in Maine, we did not end up with a single rabbit. Uh, we totaled about 10 shots. We've seen a bunch of them. Dogs ran great, couldn't have asked for anything better. But uh, in the end, we could not connect with any of them and uh, couldn't get it done by the end of the, end of the day, so. It was pretty tough. I think what was happening was the snow was just so deep uh, that it took the dogs forever to come around. So we didn't actually get a ton of chances to, to see the rabbits and even us getting around was uh, quite difficult. So it was definitely a, definitely a challenging night, a challenging day, but uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have some better luck. And it's about almost, it's getting close to six o'clock now. I'm walking the last dog, Louie, uh, to the truck.
on the second day, I only ran Louie and Barry, as Bo was badly raw underneath his body from running so long on the first day. As we water the other dogs and prepare Barry and Louie, I'm apprehensive as to how much energy Louie has left. My dogs have run countless days back to back, but never in snow this deep. Unfortunately, my senses proved correct. My dogs were completely shot, and the scenting was not prime, but Louie and Barry pulled off another great hunt. Because of these problems, it took us longer than it should have to get my first main hair. But once we got rolling, we were able to kill five oh by the end of the morning. Oh, my first main hair. Good, good, good. Jeez, these things die hard. Oh boy. Oh no. I said, I got him. All right, all right. Okay, I got my first main hair. Um, uh, we've been shooting quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna see if they got uh, two more that came out on this one. So, yeah, it's been quite exciting the last 10 minutes here. It's been a slow start to tell you the truth. Real tough, The dog, my dogs are real tired today. Look, I'll show you where I shot him. The rabbit, yeah, rabbits are going so quick through there. They're all, my, my dogs are starting to get real tired though. Right there, 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 you smell him? Get him, get him. Get him. There we go. He won't leave a rabbit either. Oh, let's see. He's bending your way though. You think that's him? Oh uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go check. That's a big one. Right there, boys. That's a big one. Nice. Hair number two. Got him. There. That's a pretty big one. I don't know, does it look like yours? They all look the same. Yeah. <laughs> Blood over here. Yeah. Maybe that was from before. Yeah, because it seems like See? right now you got yeah. them in the back end. Yeah, look at this thing. This thing maybe was from before. Yep. It doesn't look like. Maybe I'd find a blood trail. Look, this, this leg. I don't know, this we is... got him, we got him, George. Yeah. I was just about to say that, two rabbits. You get them? You miss? What's that? We don't know about the second one. I was gonna say the dogs are coming in on two different tracks. All right, so we're having a bit more success now. It's about uh, 12 o'clock on the second day here. Sun's starting to come out, so it's getting a little warmer. And uh, uh, Barry and Louie are doing a lot better. They're still very, very tired though. We just had two rabbits come out. Uh, dogs took after two, and they basically ran down the same path. Got him. After the fifth hair, I knew I had to pull the plug on my dogs. They had completely had it, and it took a toll on the search and their speed. 
Luckily, we came prepared for this, and my friends brought four of their hounds. All right, that's number two for us. It's been really rough going. My dogs are wiped. Uh, Bo's not even had to run him today because he's so sore underneath his belly. Uh, and Louie's about had it. And uh, Barry's really tired too. So it's been kind of a rough day, but there's so many rabbits here, we're getting them. Good boy, Barry. Good boy. Yeah, you know, I think what we should do is, uh, I think we should put mine away. Mine are, mine are completely drained. I mean, it, it's, it is pretty bad. They haven't run like this in a while. Like, they're, they're just so tired. I think we gotta put mine away and then, uh, yeah, we'll run yours. For the second part of the day, we quickly travel to a nearby location and get my friend's dogs ready. The dogs that they brought are specifically bred for hares in this kind of environment. Each one of these dogs is a mix between blue tick coonhound and beagle. The two whiter looking dogs are puppies under a year old. As you can see, I used a big set of snowshoes. After the first day, I found that my smaller set was just not cutting it, as I would often sink over a foot down. Yeah, I'm coming up right behind you, Steve. And just like the first day, the dogs ran great, but the hare was wily. This time, it brought the dogs into an extremely dense cedar swamp. So you can kind of see why the dogs are having a, a bit of a trouble today. Look how thick that is. There's nothing but snow and uh, blowdowns. And they're having such a hard time getting over them. Running great uh, right to this point. Uh, but you can see the blowdowns they're trying to get through right now. We got four so far today with uh, Barry and Louie. It was uh, pretty tough going uh, with the snow. Like I said, they had run, oh, there we go. They'd run the full day before and they were uh, ex just exhausted. Uh, but it's just loaded with rabbits in here, loaded. Because of the deep snow, it was difficult to maneuver, causing us to chase this one hare for the remainder of the day until it ran my way and I was able to make the shot. We were chasing that hare. Uh, all afternoon, about four hours. Oh, so that was a four hour hair right there. Went through thickets, uh, some swamps, real tough to get. Almost went on a road a few times. Was traveling uh, all the way right on its own track, back and forth, back and forth. And then uh, I finally caught it trying to get back to the swamp on us. But uh, extremely wily little rabbit here. Nice little Maine hey, hair. So with that, I think that'll do it for my time in Maine. I've really enjoyed these two days out here with the dogs. We totaled five hares. Um, it was a, it was definitely a challenge and uh, a wonderful experience that I'll remember for a long time. And uh, definitely can't wait to do it again. So uh, thanks for watching. Hunting hares in Maine was a dream come true. And I hope my time here inspires some of you to do the same. I would like to thank my friends for taking me out and all of my viewers for their support. That's all we have for today. 
So catch us next week on Beagle Boys Rabbit Hunting.